It's the blood of Christ that forgives you. For in the blood of Christ it was shed for you at the cross. Revelation 1.5 From Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, the prince of the kings, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. He washed us from our sins in his own blood. Hebrews 9, 14. Hebrews 9, 14. Hebrews 9 14 how much more shall the blood of Christ who brought the eternal spirit offer himself without spot to God purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God <coughs> excuse me how much more shall the blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God And 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 19. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 19. But with the precious blood of Christ as a lamb without blemish and without spot. It is a precious blood because it was the Saviour's blood where he died on that cross on your behalf. God was going to judge you on judgment day and send you to hell because you sinned and you couldn't pay your debt back. So what God did is came down in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ was perfect, holy and divine and human. And there it was prophesied that he would die in your place. And as they whipped him, as they put a crown of thorns on his head and as they nailed him, it should have been you and me being nailed to go to hell. But he died in your place that you might be living and saved today. Count Sissendorf says, Our method of proclaiming salvation is this, to point out to every heart the loving Lamb who died for us, and although he was the Son of God, offered himself for our sins by the preaching of his blood and of his love unto death, even the death of the cross. And, and that means that any sin that you have done, even if you've got a hard heart against God, even if you're bitter against God and angry against God, even if you wanted to destroy God and destroy his servants, you come to God and say, Lord, I'm a sinner, and you come to the cross, you can be washed and cleansed, and you can be forgiven, and you can have a relationship with the living God. And that's for you. That offer is for you. And I would beg you to consider that offer, to consider the love of the Lamb, to consider what he did for you at the cross. I would beg and plead with you to turn to him and to trust in him, because that is the only way to know God through the blood of Christ. And there is no way in heaven and earth for you to know God but through that blood. Psalm 51 verse 10 Psalm 51 verse 10 Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a spirit within me. God will give you a clean heart by the Holy Spirit. Ezekiel 36 25 As you believe in the cross, you become born again. The Holy Spirit comes to dwell in your heart. Ezekiel 36 25 then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I clean you God will clean you even the worst can be forgiven Acts chapter 9 verse 21 